but uh, huge stuff going on in crypto. Uh, Bitcoin's really bounced back pretty nicely here to 40,000, which actually Ed said it probably would. And then it might go down again, but you have to be a subscriber to get all this information. But El Salvador, uh, <laughs> pretty interesting just in three days they just pass a law and made bitcoin legal tender which you really kind of have to do because if the imf and those people knew about it they would probably have their terrorist attack like immediately in el salvador but they didn't have time but just it's funny because i actually have a large holding now i never thought this would ever happen in my lifetime i hold a, a large amount of the the legal tender of el salvador <laughs> bitcoin I wrote this tweet because it's kind of just interesting. Like, I actually have a bit of a connection with El Salvador. I sank my boat there. I wrote this, life is always full of crazy connections. I also sank my boat in El Salvador in 2005. Now I'm a large holder, holder of El Salvadorian currency. And then I let the president know the Navy lied. They said they saved me. They didn't. And as I said, the IMF's not happy about the El Salvador Bitcoin move. Well, that's too bad. Adoption of Bitcoin as a legal tender raises a number of macroeconomic, financial, and legal issues that require very careful analysis, Reuters said. Oh, God. It goes on to say, Meanwhile, in 2018, the small and remote Pacific Island country, the Republic of Marshall Islands, was also warned by the F IMF over their coin project. Yep, the IMF's got to have their fingers in everything. And now, young Marshall Islands, you will die. <laughs> kind of funny, too, that... Uh, now in El Salvador, Tesla has to accept Bitcoin. <laughs> it's just funny how all this stuff kind of plays out. Here's the environmentalist. Bitcoin wastes hot lava. Stop volcano mining. <laughs> Down with volcanoes. Yes, they're trying to mine Bitcoin in volcanoes in El Salvador. You can't make this stuff up, but it's pretty cool, actually. <laughs> I like this tweet. Hey, Elon, what percent of Tesla cars are being powered by fucking volcanoes? I don't think I, I haven't checked, but I, I haven't seen Peter Schiff say anything about it. So here's me waiting to hear how Peter Schiff spins the El Salvador Bitcoin news. But I did see this. The, the Colombian president's advisor smacked Peter Schiff down. The Colombian president's advisor to Peter Schiff, stop talking and short Bitcoin. While Peter Schill was being Peter Schill yet again, the advisor of Colombia's president emphatically told him to shut up and short Bitcoin. <laughs> Politicians based in Latin America continue to support Bitcoin, with the latest example coming from the advisor of the Colombian president. Jehud Castro Sierra, who has been a vocal Bitcoiner for a while, recently told permanent Bitcoin basher Peter Schill to short the asset and shut up. <laughs> and there he is with laser eyes. And just in case some people are unclear on my stance on Bitcoin, like I do uh, say, like, it's got a lot of problems um, and because it's not fungible and not private, uh, it's probably going to be taken over by something like Monero. Now they're, they're talking about a few things like Taproot and all that. None of that's anything close to Monero and not even close to things like Pirate Chain. So <clears throat> I still think Bitcoin's going to go up for sure. Uh, we have our targets, I think generally around 100 120,000 is our target was our target for this year and that was like a while ago that Ed had that target uh we'll see uh could be a slow sort of a summer it might uh we'll see but uh yeah I still have some bitcoin because I know it's going to go up um but I, more and more I'm just into things like Monero and Pirate Chain and uh some new things actually we're just coming out with uh, as I mentioned on June 21st so in about a week uh, the Crypto Vigilante is going to release its next coin pick, and uh, the Pirate Chain was the last one at five cents. It's now about five dollars, so up a hundred times, and it actually went up to sixteen, so it was up three hundred times in eight months, <laughs> which I think is thirty thousand percent. Pretty good, right? And uh, the next one we think is going to do quite similar. So if you haven't signed up, get signed up now because you want to get into the groups and get to understand what's going on. And when you get into the Telegram chat with all the subscribers, everyone helps each other out. Uh, it'll probably take you, a, you know, a little while to get used to how everything works. So you don't want to be signing up on the last minute or you'll you probably miss, you know, quite a rise. I I'm, I'm have almost no doubt it's going to go up quite a bit right away because a lot of people are going to want to get it. And uh, so get up, signed up now. Just go to, I think, dollarvigilante.com slash TCV to sign up for the Crypto Vigilante. The Dollar Vigilante is included with Crypto Vigilante for those who don't know.